there are four key strength and conditioning principles. Specificity, individuality, progressive overload and variety. Specificity helps us identify which training methods or exercises are best for each goal. Individuality helps us select which of those exercises or training methods are right for each individual person. Progressive overload reminds us that we have to keep progressing and moving forwards on each exercise or training method. And variety reminds us we have to keep changing things from time to time if we're going to progress. As you can see, specificity is the foundation principle upon which all the other principles then build. The better we understand specificity, the better training programmes we can then write. If you research the principle of specificity, you will find that it gets used in two totally different ways, and this causes a big problem for us, which we need to fix. In early studies, researchers referred to the principle of specificity as an observation. They observed that specific strength gains occurred after different strength training programmes. In later studies, it's become used as an explanation. So sometimes you'll find that researchers refer to their results as being in accordance with the principle of specificity or expected because of the principle of specificity. And this is a problem because it creates a circular reference. So the principle of specificity serves as both an observation and also as an explanation. So let's take a look at that circular reference in action. How do we know there is a principle of specificity? Well, because strength gains are specific after training. And why are strength gains specific after training? Because of the principle of specificity. As you can see, going around in a circle doesn't really help our understanding of the principle of specificity. What we need to do is to stop using the principle of specificity as an explanation and just use it as an observation. So if we correct that, our new diagram looks like this. How do we know there is a principle of specificity? Because strength gains are specific after training. This is our observation. And why are strength gains specific after training? Because unique adaptions happen after each strength training program. And this is our explanation. This is very exciting because the more we know about the unique adaptions that happen after each strength training program, the better we can use those training programs to improve athletes. If we know how long an adaption takes before it starts to plateau, or if we know what side effects an adaption might have on other types of strength, that gives us a lot of knowledge that we can use to better improve an athlete's strength in different aspects of their sport.